Hello and welcome to another part of my collection. This time it's well, maybe the first or will be more of my adventure games. I'm your Mr. Venom1974 and this is the first cut of uh, the LucasArts or LucasFilm games. This is a mixture from uh, magazines, a uh, mixture from uh, Indie Free, Monkey Island and uh, I think Zack is also on one of these CDs, so we're not so special, it was on magazines, and um, oh, I've got it, but oh, we all know they came first on disc, and I think I have some disc, but I didn't found any complete set for this video, so um, we're here. Uh, indie Free, by the way, should I start with Indie Free is a great game uh, based on the Indie Free movie The Last Crusade and it's a really good port, very entertaining, even the action sequences are really really fun, I love the, the boxing, it's really awesome. If you're a fan of classic adventures this is a great game. Um, indie Free on, on the other end is much better. Um, I think the story about Fate of Atlantis is really great. I think the chemistry between Indy and Sophia is really superb. It's really good portrayed. This is the CD version with speech. Uh, Harrison Ford didn't, didn't do the, the voiceover, but this guy uh, who did the, the indie voice did a wonderful job. It's very, very close to the original. It's a really good thing. And you have three solutions, by the way. If you reach Atlantis, it's possible to choose one of the three solutions. It's a really good game, and believe me, this is really good. Loom. I know a lot of people um, didn't like Loom. <sighs> Don't really know why. This um, game is a little bit more, should I say, serious. Um, it's very far from the uh, typical LucasArts, LucasFilm formula, but it's a really good game. Uh, you are a weaver and you walk from aisle to aisle to uh, solve some riddles. Where also on this version is, you see, where is an audio drama and this is the game uh, disc. Has speech, great graphics and uh, I think it was Tchaikovsky maybe. Um, a really good soundtrack. It's a really music game. If you are a fan of these games, believe me, this is a good game and the story is really good. Uh, the clerics are amazing in this game. Uh, you will hate them, believe me. Full Throttle or the German title Vollgas. Um, you are Ben, you are a biker in a future world and this is really good. I think the soundtrack from the Gun Vultures, I think. It's amazing, it's really superb um, road movie character. The action sequences are not so typical great, but this game has substance. Ben is an awesome adventure character and if you are a fan of um, the style, mean, biker, metal, this is your kind of game and you will love it. Grim Fandango, on the other hand, has so many great things in it, but it's technical so, so worse. Um, I think it has four chapters, I think, and I think two of them are really great. It's a mixture of a mafia story mixed with Serie Noir, with uh, maybe some like Tim Burton style. It's really interesting, but the other two chapters are boring as hell and I think I don't like them at all. So um, I'm not a great fan of Grim Fandango. The Dick on the other hand, I know uh, a lot of people also didn't like this game. It's a typical um, Steven Spielberg adventure. It ba maybe it was planned as to be as a movie The Dick. Um, I think the soundtrack is amazing. It's really good. It's super chemistry. It's super atmospheric and the story is not so bad. It's not maybe the greatest thing, but if you are interested in, in space sagas, I think this is your kind of game and um, it's a neat game, but I know a lot of people think that is not a great game from Lucas art film 
something else. So after the cut, we see us in the next games. Just a second. Hello to the second part, and this time it's just for Sam and Max. I think this was a comic by Steve Purchill, I think, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of a Sam and Max uh, franchise, but has a lot of fun and it's also a road movie, a very corny story, very uh, corny graphics. It's not my favorite adventure, but maybe I, sometime I will give it a try again. And this is the, should I say, the Sam and Max series. This was season one, this was season two, and this is season three, of course. Um, Telltale Games uh, also made some episodes of it. So it's really interesting. I think it's the series um, provides absolutely good laughs. Sometimes it's a little bit too strange, too awkward, but if you are a Lucas Arts and Lucas fan, maybe you will enjoy it. This is a known classic, and the other saying is just episodic, but just give it a try. But there will be more in this video. See you. So, it's another part. Uh, just a brief info. If you don't know Outlaws, Outlaws is a 3D shooter from LucasArts, LucasFilm. It's really unique. It has an absolutely great soundtrack. I think it's really worth of Ennio Morricone or something. Um, but I know a lot of people didn't ever heard of it. We know Rebel Assault, we know other things, but uh, nobody knows really Outlaws. Where is the also famous Day of a Tentacle? Uh, it's not a Japanese adventure. It's just the sequel to Manic Mansion and I think everybody knows that this is the English version and I think this is really good voiced. It's really nice and some told me just to show the box. And this is the box. I turn it so you can see it. It's a triangle. <laughs> it's a pyramid. Not a joke. It's really. So, Day of a Tentacle is one of the best adventures of all time. If you never ever played it, just do yourself a favor and do it. Where's also Manic Mansion 1 in it, where it's also one of the greatest adventures ever created, and I think it's one of the greatest adventures ever from the C64 generation. So, this is absolutely a great game, but you will guess where is still one series missing, and this is coming next. Here it is, the grand final, the series of series, maybe the one of the greatest adventures of all time lies on this table. We start with a special edition of The Secret of Monkey Island. This is the version with orchestra soundtrack and five languages, where is no speech. This was, I think, the first special edition. Uh, when there was this trilogy, from 1 to 3 on this collection and now we got the special edition with voices, with HD graphics and this is Escape from Monkey Island here Flucht von Monkey Island, the German version this is part 4 and there's also some Telltale Games Tales of Monkey Island Monkey Island 1 is maybe an instant classic one of the greatest adventures of all time you want to be a pirate and you want to impress the governor, not Arnie, the real governor, Elaine Marley, and um, you have to fight Le Chuck, the ghost pirate. This is a really good game and I think it was, if you're seeing um, Pirates of the Caribbean, this game makes so great fun of a pirate franchise. It's absolutely perfect. The soundtrack is amazing. Uh, this is great. The sword fights are a little bit repetitive sometimes. Uh, the insults not the greatest ent um, entertaining, but it's really good. Part two, this little fella, is maybe even better. Monkey Island 2 has so many corny laughs. It starts with a great joke about uh, what guys didn't realize a good story if you're paying 50 bucks or something. Uh, 
it's from start to finish a great game. Even the final battle, in this strange final battle, makes this game not bad. This is my personal best adventure of all time. Um, part 3, this little thing, has uh, different graphics. It's a little bit too cartoony and I think the jokes are also not that level. Um, it's an okay game, but it, it never ever touches the part 1 and part 2. Part 4 has also a really strange 3D playable uh, console likes controls and it's not a really good game. It's an okay game, nothing more and uh, this is, is, is very friendly to say. Um, Tales of Monkey Island or Amazon has nice uh, episodes, it's playable, it's okay. I think everybody who loves adventures has to get Monkey Island, all of them. This is simple, this is a rule, this is a fact. So, this was my LucasArts, LucasFilm adventure games. Believe me, my next, next adventure video where will be Sierra, believe me. And so, if you like this video, please rate, leave a comment, subscribe if you want. I'm your Mr. Venom 1974 and I'm out for now.